Welcome, seekers of the hidden and the extraordinary, to another enchanting episode of the Secret Scriptorium. Today, we delve into the annals of Jewish folklore and mystical tradition, tracing the enigmatic love story of Samuel and Lilith. Samuel and Lilith are two significant figures in Jewish mystical tradition and apocryphal literature. Both possess complex histories, and their rumored romantic involvement carries profound implications. Samael, often associated with the destructive and punitive aspects of divinity, is a complex figure in Jewish lore. His name translates to venom of God or blindness of God, which reflects his multifaceted roles as both an accuser and destroyer, and at times a seducer, depending on the context. Samael can be seen as an archangel, a demon, or even the angel of death. His paradoxical nature underlines the moral complexity within the spiritual world, where entities are not strictly good or evil, but encompass a broader spectrum of qualities. On the other hand, Lilith, widely recognized in Jewish folklore as Adam's first wife, embodies defiance and independence. In the alphabet of Sirach, an anonymous medieval text, Lilith left Adam after refusing to be submissive in their relationship. She pronounced God's ineffable name, which granted her the power to escape the Garden of Eden. After her departure, she was demonized and considered a threat to newborn children and pregnant women. She is often depicted as the mother of demons, a figure of danger, but also one of independence and rebellion against established norms. The romantic entanglement of Samael and Lilith is a topic of considerable fascination and debate. Their union is not universally acknowledged across all Jewish texts, but features prominently in certain Kabbalistic traditions. They are often portrayed as equals, two powerful entities drawn together, each embodying rebellion and defiance of the divine order. However, this union wasn't without consequences. According to some sources, their offspring were the demonic entities that populated the world, causing havoc and suffering among humans. In this context, their love story is more of a tragic tale, a cosmic Romeo and Juliet, where their passion leads to destructive consequences. Furthermore, it's often said that their relationship resulted in further ostracization from the divine realm, cementing their roles as entities opposing the divine order. Samael, who already held a contentious position due to his destructive duties, was further vilified. Similarly, Lilith's status as a feared demonic entity was amplified. In modern interpretations, the story of Samuel and Lilith can be seen as a symbol of the chaos and disorder that can emerge from defying societal norms. However, it also embodies the pursuit of personal freedom, as both figures choose their path rather than submit to roles they disagreed with. Their love story, in its complexity and tragedy, serves as a metaphor for rebellion, the pursuit of desire against societal norms, and the repercussions that often accompany such defiance. Their rebellion might symbolize the part of the self that seeks to break free from societal norms and expectations. Their union and the subsequent consequences could represent the chaos that can ensue when these shadow aspects are not adequately acknowledged or integrated. In conclusion, the narrative of Samael and Lilith steeped in rebellion, passion, and punishment offers a rich tapestry for exploration. These figures, in their defiance and independence, Endure as powerful symbols within theological and cultural discourse, embodying complex psychological and societal phenomena. The tale of Samuel and Lilith is a potent reminder that even within the mystical and spiritual realms, there exist narratives of connection, understanding, and rebellion. A love story not of simplicity, but complexity and paradox. Join us next time as we continue our exploration to the captivating world of the arcane, the mystical, and the unexplored. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest adventures.